All right, everybody, welcome back to the driveway engineer. I'm sorry about the birds. Uh, it's springtime. What can I really say? It's what they do. Um, so you'll notice a new intro for which I have to give credit to viewer Mind the Gap. Uh, he created that. He, he came up with the other new intros as well. And I think they're pretty awesome. But it fits really well with something that I've been thinking about doing, and it's something that I kind of do in my own life anyway. Um, which is, you know, I'm a bit of a prepper. My dogs are peeing. Cool. Um, not in like, I don't have a bunker kind of sense, but in the, I want my family to be able to sustain itself without, you know, any outside interference. So, hold on a moment here. All right, so to that end, I have, you know, my Predator 8700 watt generator here in the garage. Um, I have a couple projects going on. But I guess the, the point of this is that there will be a new series coming, you know, dealing with what do you do, what can you do to protect yourself a little bit. Um, it really doesn't have anything to do with the uh, COVID-19 because I was already living my life like this anyway. Um, or Wu flu or Kung flu or whatever you're calling China virus. Um, and, and it's not anything to do with politics. This is just something that, you know, I think that it's best to be prepared to some reasonable degree. Hold on a minute. We got a hot rod going by. So some of the things that you'll see is, you know, how can you produce fuel when everything goes down and zombies are here? How can you protect yourself against uh, an EMP? You know, like Daryl is a, uh, it's an LS swap truck. You know, how am I going to keep it running when the grid goes down? How am I going to deal with an EMP that may be unleashed or, you know, happen? Solar flares happen. Um, whatever. There's different things that can happen. So this will be a new series of how I protect my family against these things and how I make sure that we have some kind of backup going. Some of the stuff that I'm getting into. So hopefully you dig it and you follow along. I'll, I'll be working on a gasifier. Um, I'll be working on some Faraday cage projects and EMP proofing some of my stuff having backups for the backups, that kind of thing. Uh, you see my solar panel back there. I, I have a solar generator. I'll, I'll go through all that kind of stuff with you guys. What you need to generate a little power off the grid um, and how you can, you know, maybe beef up your, uh, your life a little bit. So hopefully you follow along. Hopefully you're into it. If you are, that's cool. If you're not, that's also cool. Like I said, though, the, the whole channel is not LS swaps. It's more, you know, what can the average guy do in the driveway that he may think is beyond him. And so things like solar power, things like EMP proofing, things like off-grid power generation are not beyond you, no matter who you are. So we'll be going through all that in the next coming weeks. You know, I'll try to do a video a week. And they'll have that intro on them so you'll know if you want to watch them or not. from the intro alone so anyway thanks for watching guys uh i'm gonna head inside with old coconut here and peanut and start thinking about the projects there's a sneak peek of the gasifier right there so thanks for watching guys be sure to like subscribe share and we'll see you next time on the driveway engineer